my teacher for president. Dear Channel 39, I saw on TV that elections are coming. At school, we have been learning about the president's job. My teacher would be just right. Just let me know what you think. My teacher loves White Houses. She's used to being followed everywhere. When my teacher walks into a class, to a room, people pay attention. My teacher goes to lots of meetings. And she's always signing important papers. My teacher acts quickly when there's an emergency. And she says healthcare is important. My teacher likes to go on trips. My teacher would be good for the country. She wants to clean up the earth. She finds jobs for people. She is a good listener. She believes in peace. My teacher would make a great president. Love, Oliver. P.S. Just make sure she doesn't leave before the end of the year. The end. Scary Odd Parents, a fairly odd Halloween. It was Halloween night in Dimsdale. Timmy and his godparents, Cosmo and Wando, were watching the adventures of Crash Nebula. That's what I want to be for Halloween. One of the bad guys, a jackal bot, Timmy said. Cosmo and Wanda tried to grant Timmy's wish, but their magic wands dropped. Timmy blinked. Hey, what's wrong, he asked. Wanda consulted the rules. Well, it says here that here there are only four ja actual jackalbot costumes and they were all they were won in a contest ring the doorbell rang tad chad trixie and veronica were standing outside dressed in a jackal box in jackal jackal bot suits great outfits timmy's dad said how'd you get those costumes timmy demanded they were for contest winners only chad shrugged may the richest kids who can pay off the judges win I know, Timmy said. I'll dress up as the scariest monster in the world, Vicky. But Timmy did not know that Vicky, the babysitter, was standing right behind him. Oh, really? Vicky said as she held out a roll of toilet paper. Chester and AJ watched as Vicky wrapped Timmy in the toilet paper. Ooh, a mummy made of toilet paper, Chester remarked, scary. Hey, Timmy, Cosmo said. Timmy spun to face the two fairies. Cosmo, Wanda, what are you guys doing? If anybody sees you with me, you'll have to go away forever. It's okay, Wanda said. It's Halloween. Everybody's wearing a costume. I want a real scary costume, not some stupid toilet paper, Timmy said. I wish all of our cos costumes were real and scary. You got it, Cosmo replied, granting his wish. Poof. I'm a real mummy, Timmy cried with delight, and I'm rotting. Cool. The other kids seem to be enjoying their new costumes, too, Wanda said. What do you mean, other kids? T Timmy asked. Cosmo smiled. Everybody's costumes in the entire world are now real. Timmy scratched his head. But if the costumes are real, then that means so are the Jackobots. The Jackobots huddled in a group nearby, unite and form the Pumpkinator, as one of, as one, we will destroy the world, they cried in unison. A light flashed as the evil robots combined into a signal, a sing, single self-destructing unit. Timmy said, I wish we were all back to normal. Um, Timmy, Wanda, um, Timmy, Wanda said, when you wished everyone's costumes were real, 
we became a real human monster generator and the nurse with the magic powers, Cosmo finished. Timmy tried to think of a way he could stop the pumpkinator from blowing the world. I've got it, let's go into the costume store, he announced. Inside they found pieces of leftover costumes in the clearance bin. Timmy could, get, could gain more power by making himself into anything he wanted. The, net, the new and improved Timmy was ready to take on the Pumpkinator. Pow, bam, biff. The bot swung at, at a fist, but Timmy easily dodged, dodged it. Ha, you can't hit a guy with ballerina powers. And then the Pumpkinator stopped moving. Lights blinked, gears were whirred, wired. One minute. And counting, one minute and counting to self-destruct, a robotic voice said. He's going to blow. Cosma and Wanda help, Timmy yelled. But we're not fairies anymore. And without my powers, I am useless as that big tooth, Wanda said. Jerking, thumb, <clears throat> jerking a thumb at Window Bender, the local dentist. I am not, I am no tooth. When Wendell retorted in, I'm the Tooth Fairy. If you become whatever costumes you're wearing, I've got it, Wanda said, snatching Wendell's wand and crown. Wanda and Cosmo's fairy powers were back. Make a wish, Timmy, Wanda called, now. Timmy took a deep breath. I wish Halloween wasn't real and scary. I don't want the world to get blown up. Poof, the pumpkin... Nader changed into Tad, Trixie, Chad, and Veronica. Everything was back to normal. That's better, Timmy said. I like Halloween the way it's supposed to be, fake and safe. The end. The Big Family. Mr. and Mrs. Green have lots and lots of children. All the children are noisy. Why do you have so many children, people, people ask Mr. and Mrs. Green. We love children, says Mrs. Green. Most of the time, says Mr. Green. One day, a girl called Joanna comes to live with the Greens. Joanna is very shy. She doesn't talk or play. She doesn't want to eat. Joanna is shy, says Mrs. Green to the other children. Don't rush her. On Saturday, Mr. Green says to the family, because Joanna has come to stay, we're going to celebrate. Joanna doesn't know what celebrate is. Celebrate means we're going to have fun, shout the other children. Mr. and Mrs. Green take the children to the amusement park. The man at the gate is selling tickets. How many? He asks. Too many to count, jokes Mr. Green. The man laughs. Then I'll let you all in for free. The children take Joanna on the merry-go-round. She likes riding on the horses. She is a bit frightened of the roller coaster, but she has a second ride on it. The children are throwing hoops to get a rabbit. All the hoops miss. Mr. and Mrs. Green try. They miss the rabbit, too. Come on, Joanna, they say. It's your turn. Joanna is shy. She doesn't want a turn. Come on, Joanna, the children yell. So Joanna has a turn at throwing the hoops. Clunk, a hoop goes over the rabbit. The family cheers. Joanna shouts, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got the rabbit all by myself. Mr. Mister Green laughs. Looks like we've got another noisy green, he says. The end. Right. Something good. Taya went shopping with her father and her brother and her sister. She pushed the cart up the aisle and down the aisle, up the aisle and down the aisle, up the aisle and down the aisle. Taya said, sometimes my father doesn't buy good food. He gets bread, eggs, milk, cheese, spinach, nothing, nothing any good. He doesn't buy ice cream, cookies, chocolate bars, or ginger ale. 
So Taya very quietly snuck away from her father and got a cart of her own. She pushed it over the ice cream. Then she put 100 boxes of ice cream into her cart. Taya pushed that cart up behind her father and said, Daddy, look. Her father turned around and yelled, yikes. Taya said, Daddy, good food. Oh no, said her father. This is sugary junk. It will, not, it will rot your teeth. It will lower your IQ. Put it all back. Taya put back 100, the 100 boxes of ice cream. She meant to go right back to her father, but on the way she, she had to pass the candy. She put 300 chocolate bars into her, her cart. Taya pushes the cart up and behind her father and said, Daddy, look. Her father turned around and said, Yikes. Taya said, Daddy, good food. Oh no, said her father. This is sugary junk. Put it all back. So Taya put back all the chocolate bars. Then her father said, okay, Taya, I have had it. You stand here and don't move. Taya knew she was in big trouble. So she stood there and didn't move. Some, some friends came by and said, hello. Taya didn't move. A man ran over her toe with his cart. Taya still didn't move. A lady who worked at the store came by and looked at Taya. She looked her over from the top down and she, and she looked her over the bottom up. She knocked Taya on the head and Taya still didn't move. The lady said, this is the nicest doll I have ever seen. It looks almost real. She put a price tag on Taya's nose and said, that said $29.95. Then she picked Taya up and put her on the shelf with all the other dolls. A man came along and looked at Taya. He said, this is the nicest doll I have ever seen. I'm going to get that doll for my son. He picked up Taya by the hair. Taya yelled very loudly, stop. The man screamed, yeah, it's alive. And he ran down the aisle knocking over a pile of 500 apples. A lady came along and looked at Taya. She said, this is the nicest doll I have ever seen. I think I'll buy this doll for my daughter. She picked up Taya by the ear. Taya yelled as loudly as she could, stop. And the lady screamed, ah, it's alive. And she ran down the aisle, knocking over a pile of 500 oranges. When Taya's father came along looking for his daughter, he said, Taya, 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 where are you? Taya, what are you doing on that shelf? Taya said, it's all your fault. You told me to not, not to move and people were trying to buy me. What? Where? Oh, come on now. He s said her father, I won't let anybody buy you. He gave Taya a big kiss and a big hug. Then they went to pay for all the food. The man at the cash register looked at Taya and said, hey mister, you can't take that kid out of the store. He, you have to pay for her. I say so right on her nose. $29.95. Wait, said the father, this is my own child. I don't have to pay for my own kid, the man said. If it has a price tag, you have to pay for it. I won't pay, said the father. You, you've got to, said the man. The father said, no. The man said, yes. The father said, no. The man said, yes. The father and Andrew and Julie all yelled, no. Then Taya quietly said, Daddy, don't you think I'm worth $29.95? Uh, um, I mean, well, of course you're worth twenty nine ninety five, said the father. 
He reached into his wallet, got out the money, paid the man, and took the price tag off of Taya's nose. Taya gave her father a big kiss, smirch, and a big hug. Mm. And then she said, Daddy, you finally bought something good after all. Then her father picked up Taya and gave her a big, long hug and didn't say anything at all. The end. Five, four. Aunt Ant leaves through the leaves. No tractors allowed, monkey thought out loud. But I just rode down this road. How will I get these bananas home to make banana cream pie? Is that ant I hear? I'm so glad you're here. Will you help me move these bananas? Aunt Ant squints an eye. Not I. I'm a new ant, and it's after two. I have a new niece I need to get to. And Aunt Ant leaves through the leaves. Monkey says, be high. Be a friend and help me. This pile's too high. Be squints an eye. Not I. I have too many things to do, and this week's shipment of, of honey is due. And B leaves through the leaves. Oh, bear, this is more than I can bear. Wait, will you help me pull this weight? Bear squints an eye, not I. See that face, see that face. Bear squints an eye, not I. See that fur? It's got snap all over my fur. Are you sure, monkey asks? Is it? I'm not going to move. Are you sure, monkey asks, in a daze? If you don't help, this will take me days. But bear leaves through the leaves. Monkey says, I wish I knew of somebody new. Oh, good. It's you. Please help me, new. New squints an eye, not I. If I were you, I'd ask, ooh. And, and new leaves through the leaves. Ba, says ooh. What about deer? He's usually a deer. Ba, says deer. Not today. I'm out of here. Help. Thank goodness, thank goodness it's horse. I've yelled myself horse. You're here to help me move my bananas. Horse squints an eye, not I, hey. I'd rather go home and munch some hay. Nay, I say, sorry, but nay. And horse leaves through the leaves. Fine, monkey says, then I'll do it myself. Aunt Ant, you came back. Monkey and Aunt Ant, you came back. Monkey grabs a pail. Monkey and Ant work until the sky grows pale. Monkey says, are you... Monkey says, you really are a help... Monkey says, you really are a helpful lot. All of you have helped a lot. Home at last, Monkey says, I know you would like to take a break, but we're making a pie, we have eggs to break. And we need some flour, it's over there beside the flour. Later, when the sun rises, the morning bell peels, Monkey porch, Monkey's porch is covered in peels. I can't believe how much we ate. Monkey says, was it seven pies or was it eight? The animal says, we want pie. Oh, monkey, please. And monkey says, I hear your peas, but I just don't know. I should say no. Whose job was will it be to move the peels off my porch? Monkey asks, who's going to help me now? I will said B, I will said bear, I will said gnu and gnu and oo and de and deer. Monkey squints an eye. That's a very nice change from not I.
Then the animal calls, monkey, look, see, we care, and they're easy to move from here to there. Now may we have some pie that's ours. We've been working for a couple hours. Here you go, and I must go. Aunt Ant wants me to meet her niece. Enjoy your piece of pie in peace. And monkey leaves and er waddles through the leaves. The end. If I earn a five, four. If I earn a penny. I want to earn some money, Mom. Will you help me plant some seeds? asked Mom. I will pay you one penny for each seed you plant. Sure. Plant these seeds, says Mom. If I plant one seed, how much money will I earn? Plant the seed in the soft brown earth. Come rain, sun, come sun, then watch the birth. Down grow the roots, up grow the shoots, then stem, then leaves, then flowers, then fruits. I planted one pumpkin seed, Mom. Is that enough? No, says Mom. One pumpkin seed is just the beginning. Take these tomato seeds and plant some more. How many seeds did Mom give me? How much money will I make? Plant the seeds in the soft brown earth. Come rain, come sun, then watch the birth. Down grow the roots, up grow the shoots. Then stems, then leaves, then flowers, then fruits. One plant. Plant one, plant two, plant three, plant four. Plant, 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 then plant some more. Mom, is one pumpkin and ten tomatoes enough? No, says Mom. One pumpkin and ten tomatoes is just the beginning. Take these beans and plant some more. How many seeds did Mom give me? How much money will I make? Plant the seeds in the soft brown earth. Come rain, come sun, then grow, then watch the birth. Down grow the roots, up grow the shoots, then stems, then leaves, then flowers, then fruits. Plant one, plant two, plant three, plant four. Plant, 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 then plant some more. Mom, is one pumpkin, ten tomatoes, and a hundred beans enough? No, says Mom. Plant some more. How many more plants do you want, Mom? Do you want me to plant a thousand sunflower seeds? Sure, says mom. I like making money. Mom pays me to help around our farm. And I save half of the money I make. I want a big savings account, so I want to earn even more money. I can bake pumpkin pies and sell them at the fall fair or maybe I will open a pizza truck and make special pizza sauce from our tomatoes. Maybe I will grow magic bean stalks and charge kids to climb them. When they get to the top, I will teach them how to tame giants. Or maybe I will earn money making seeds for bigger and better plants. I will make seeds for giant sunflowers. Then I will sell the seeds to children and, glow, and grow sunflower houses. I wonder how much money I can make. Can I make hundreds? Hundreds? Can I make thousands? Can I make millions? Maybe I will invent something new that no one has ever had before, like a robot butterfly to watch over our sunflowers. If I sell it to lots and lots of people, they will pay me lots and lots of money. I can become rich. Wow, that would be great. Hey, can you think of something to invent? Is there anything you want that nobody has made before? Could you make it? Would other people buy it? Imagine. The end. We did it? I'm sorry, Panda. <laughs> oh, <you lost> <laughs>
<laughs> I'm sorry, Panda. <coughs> I'm sorry. <gasps> oh, you sit like that. If you sit like that, we're okay. I can hold your paw. You like me holding your paw, Panda? Ha, huh, Panda.